Welcome back to the Western Working Wife vlog. If you're new here, my name is Tia, and I'm here to show you my life hacks I utilize to shuffle shenanigans every week while I run a successful real estate business, remain a competitive barrel racer, and practice the art of homemaking for my growing family. I am not your typical social media influencer. I don't want to influence you at all, actually. I simply want to provide you inspiration in your daily life and show you that you can do it all and not lose your identity. You do not have to choose between having a career, chasing dreams, and being a homemaker. All right, y'all. So I just started packing, and um, I opened up this cupboard that I normally shove, like, your plastic bags from Walmart and, like, all your grocery sacks and stuff into. Anyway, apparently I've mismanaged how many um, I was keeping because this is my uh, grocery sack collection. <laughs> Who the heck needs this many grocery sacks? <laughs> Oops. I think I throw away like half of them and then I keep like half of them. That's a lot of grocery sacks. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to have to like go get um, like newspaper or like tissue or anything to like shove in with the breakable things because I think I have enough padding now. Like. We're going to dual purpose those bad boys. <laughs> it's been a pretty wild week around here, y'all. Here's Miss Birdie Girl watching over while I still managed to get the horses worked. I managed to get into the kitchen, bake some bread. Uh, we had some ranch kittens born. All of that is about to unpack in this week's vlog. Hope y'all enjoy. And here is a little bit my escape artist. Always up to something. So I knew that with us moving and unpacking and being on the go this week that we would want to have a couple loaves of sandwich bread on hand. So in this video, you're going to see me make just a simple bread recipe. It's not a sourdough recipe. Um, and you start by adding, if you want to make two loaves, you'll add three cups of water. You've seen me share this recipe before by just making one loaf. So if you wanted to just make one loaf of this bread, then you just divide all of what I'm doing by two and that would get you um, just one loaf of bread. After I'm done adding the water, I will add two tablespoons of active dry yeast and then you let it sit for about 30 minutes and just let it poof. And this is the active dry yeast that I buy. And next up, I'm gonna add a half a cup of raw organic honey. This is just what I like to use. If you have a different preference of the kind of honey, then by all means use that. But I like the local organic raw honey. Uh, it tends to help my allergies quite a bit. And then you'll also do two teaspoons of salt. And now I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze two lemons into the mixing bowl. And now I am going to do about eight cups of flour and I'll gradually add these into the mixing bowl and start mixing and just keep on adding as I go.
Once I get the dough to about this consistency, then I will go over and start hand kneading it and rolling it out. Pretty much anytime I'm working with dough, I will dust my countertop with some flour just to make it so it doesn't like stick to the countertop so badly. Although I did get one of those dough mats as a gift for one of my bridal showers and I'm looking forward to giving one of those a try. Whenever you're working with dough, don't forget to remove your rings and also coat your rolling pin as well. And now is a good time to butter or oil your bread pans. And now I will dump this dough out and spend probably about five minutes hand kneading it. And then since this is a double batch, I will go ahead and split my dough as close to down the middle as possible, but I swear every time I end up with one loaf that's just slightly bigger. <laughs> All right, now it's time to roll them out. First, I organize my space because when you have to roll out your dough flat, you kind of have to be able to work from whatever angle. And um, I found that Honestly, I'm super excited about all the counter space at this upcoming house because you'll see me struggle through this and sometimes I would like hit things and I'm telling you, you can never have too much space when you have to roll out dough like this. <laughs> so once you get it all rolled out and into like just the right like rectangular shape, then you go ahead and roll it up and stick it in your bread pan. Now uh, you'll see me work on this second one. I uh, get it all rolled out flat and do the same thing. You just roll it up and stick it in your bread pan. Then you'll let the loaves rise for about an hour. Preheat your oven to 350 put it in the oven and bake it for about 40 minutes. Depending on your oven, it may be a little more, a little bit less. And this bread is awesome for sandwiches. It tastes so good. What I love about most of the recipes that I make is you'll see me bouncing in between, coming outside, working my horses, and getting other things done and not just spending all my time in the kitchen. I am very active, I'm a barrel racer, and I'm a realtor, so my life is really busy and I need recipes that I can fit into my busy schedule. So if those are the kind of recipes you like, then hit subscribe and tune in frequently to my YouTube channel. My hat is off to anybody who can organize and keep things clean and decluttered while packing up a house. This was only a 1200 square foot house, but it was not easy to keep organized and or keep clean while trying to pack it all up. And have I mentioned there's never a dull moment around here? I swear y'all, I just cannot make it up. I came outside after a gnarly storm and found this gate down completely. Thankfully, Birdie was not hurt or anything. She was still in her pen. During this move, we had a little bit of everything come up. We had to air up this tire on a trailer that we borrowed from a good friend of ours. On the very first trip that we made to the new place, I decided I wanted to go ahead and get the pigs out of there. So, here I am pulling up T-Post and taking apart the pig pen to head off to our new home. You would probably be surprised to know that it was actually my mom who taught me to build fence, run a tractor, 
and overall helped me develop into the cowgirl that I am today. Um, in my family, it was very normal for um, women to work alongside the men and do a lot of the things that men do. So that is why I didn't spend a lot of time in the kitchen and in the home learning those skills because I was too busy working outside learning these skills. And even though I'm a cowgirl, I still take the time to pamper myself. Here is our first big load that we are taking out to the new place. Loaded down and ready to go. Someone had her babies and they don't know where they are. But they are not inside of her no more. There are no babies in there. <laughs> Do we got nipples and stuff? Oh yeah. I don't know where the babies are though. Huh, I'm gonna have to stalk you. Figure out what you did with them. Oh my gosh, y'all. So, I've been looking around in this shop all over the place, wondering where the meowing's coming from, trying to find these kittens. Guess where I just found them at? Not under any furniture that I would have expected. They're inside of Zane's roping dummy. See? There's Shadow. Nursing her kittens. Inside of a roping dummy. <laughs> Just can't make it up. <laughs> After we took the first load out and of course I found Shadow's kittens inside of a roping dummy, I went ahead and finished getting the house all ready to go because we did the best thing I ever could have done in moving. We hired movers and let me just tell y'all that was money well spent because wait till you see they came in and just whipped right through this house, got everything loaded in about an hour. Movers are absolutely fantastic. They pad everything, strap it down really good, make sure it's good and safe and secure for the trip. And this is how I pack with the horse trailer. Y'all, I would go with the movers. Would not be moving me if we didn't have a pig that would get caught and a trough it way overflowed because we were busy trying to catch a pig. Yeah. One pig's in the trailer. That one is not. You made this really difficult, kid. You didn't have to be so hard. All right. All right. And there's this guy. He's been just high on the hog in here having some hay. He's the easy pig. Come on, Rupert. I know that was traumatizing. Go to the front. <laughs> this is how spoiled my pigs are. We forgot their water. So, I uh, was going to buy them a pool. And, uh, found one. And I pulled into Bront. The new place is super cute, y'all. I hope that you will stay tuned, hit subscribe, and enjoy some of our upcoming adventures as I turn this charming house into a home for our growing family.